Hello, everybody. Welcome to FC Ama Kosi Fan Channel. This is Sunny Lim Chiodi. So today I'm going to be talking about Caleb. The rumors that we have sold Caleb. The only thing that is left is the personal terms to be agreed. So the club that is seems to be interested in him. Remember that he was a club in Ukraine and he rejected that offer. There's a club in Poland, if I'm not mistaken. And then now in Morocco, there's a team that is looking for him. And the team is called Wydad Casablanca. So apparently this is a done deal. Some are saying it's a done deal. Others are saying that the only thing that is left is for him to agree on personal terms. And then everything will be done, a done deal. I don't know what is happening currently. But all that I will tell you is that Caleb is leaving Keza Chiefs. Is leaving Keza Chiefs? We don't have a striker. We only have Chiva Viro. So we have a striker and a half because we have Duba. Some of you are saying that Duba is at the age that he can start games. Let's be honest. He's 18 years, if I'm not mistaken. How many teams, how many big teams have 18-year-olds out there solely on their own who can be strikers, the main strikers, for their clubs. How many teams? This guy, Duba, we put him on against Paris, for example. And then he misses a seater. Each and every time he tries to trap the ball, it bounces off him. He loses the ball with ease. Aren't you going to boo him? We have booed Caleb. Even if when he was warming up, we'll boo him. Each and every time that he was coming on, we'll boo him. And then you tell me that Duba will be exempted from being booed if he's not performing. I do not know. What happens to the career of this boy? Aren't you going to kill him if we say that he's going to start for us and then he doesn't perform? And then we're going to boo him and when we boo him, we're going to kill his career. Chiva Viro is saying that, okay, we have Chiva Viro. Chiva Viro, if he's not performing or if he's injured or if he's suspended, who is going to strike for us? Who's going to be that striker? Who's going to turn those chances into goals? So, I've heard someone, uh, some people saying that, you know, let's go and buy Rainers, the guy who was playing Kosafa Cup, like now. Is he a striker who can score goals for us, who can score Double figures, you can score 10 goals, you can score 20 goals. Is he that strike? He, is he in the league of playing at the highest and playing for a, a, a team of Kaiser Chiefs caliber and perform week in and week out? Others are saying that, no, let's go and sign Maela. Maela, by the way, guys, has signed five-year contract with Yanga. And you, including me sometimes, you are hypocrites. Some were saying that Nabi is not in the standard of coaching in PSL, but you yourselves are saying that Mayela is in the position or is in the standard of playing for Keza Chiefs. Hi, guys. We can't be hypocrites like this. We can't be hypocrites like this. So, let me ask you this question. Mayela is off because he has signed five years contract and on his head they put like 20 million. We're not going to go for that player anyway. So, who is that striker who's going to replace Caleb or say that he does not replace Caleb? But who is the striker who's going to fight and compete with Chiva Vira? You say it's Rainers. How many goals did he score last season? How many goals did he score? How many teams has he played for? And what is his age? Come with those details with that information give me that information and tell me okay you say runners say that he's not available who are the top three strikers in south africa that you know that you can go for and sign we don't have strikers in south africa and then you are saying that caleb can go i'm not saying that he shouldn't go yeah, yeah we should try and uh convince him to stay but how many strikers do we have in south africa who can play for case Chiefs for that matter how many strikers do we have in South Africa? We only have few strikers. Even now, for the last two years or so, the league goal scorer has been a non-South African player. 
How many strikers do you have? When last did you have a striker in South Africa, born in South Africa, who can win or who won a golden boot, the Mayatela golden boot? How many strikers do we have in South Africa? Pesita is not a striker, for example. And you say that that guy from um, Sundowns, Hesh Tam, so they call him, and it's just 18 or so years. How many strikers that are fighting for the top position or fighting for that Manyatela's boot for the past five years? Name them for me. How many strikers have turned heads around and were talk of the town, talk of the town in South Africa that has ever played for South Africa, that has ever played for Kaiser Chiefs rather and performed at the highest? How many strikers have we ever signed in South Africa and performed for us? Name just a few. I don't know. But yeah, tell me your thoughts, guys. We don't have scouts. I mean, when last did you go and get the cream of the crop? Go scout outside of South Africa and come back with a striker, a prolific striker, a little striker. When last did you go and get a player overseas in these countries, in Africa, where, wherever, that has come and be the cream of the crop and be a starter in South Africa or for case I choose for that match. How many players have we scouted? When last did you get an approach your Jamupul, your Skapi Malat, uh, your Jamupule, your Junior Khan? When last did you go out and get those players that are not known, even local? Foreign countries? How many players have we signed and they have turned out to be good players that were not known? We always want to go for players that are known. Players that already are established. And sure, let's go and get a striker who has been established. But who is that striker? But I do not know, guys. I do not know. Caleb is leaving. I'm going to miss his uh, celebrations. I was going to do his celebration and kneel here on top of my table but yeah i'm injured but yeah guys remember that caleb wasn't zwane's choice initially he came on trials after his trials he went back to his country he played and then seems as if the management said to zwane dude we're not gonna get you any striker or you're not gonna afford to get a striker anytime soon as the window is opening or as the league is opening we're not going to be able to get you another striker. Go and get Caleb. There's nothing we can do now. Seems as if he was forced on his throat. It was Caleb was forced on Zwane's throat. I don't know. But seems as if Caleb was the management signing and not the coaches signing. But anyway, guys, tell me your thoughts. Give me three strikers in South Africa or even outside South Africa that you should go and sign. I mean, let's be realistic. Give me players, not Maele, who's 20 million and has signed five, five years contract with Yanga. Come and give me those strikers. We need a striker who's going to come in like fast, be quick to adjust to South Africa if we sign a striker from outside. Adjust to play for Kaiser Chiefs. Adjust and understand the system of the coach, the playing style of the coach. We need a striker as soon as possible. We need a striker as soon as possible. Because the window already has been open long ago and we have been in the preseason for three weeks or so now. So who's the striker going to sign that instantly he makes his mark? I don't know. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Remember to like, to comment, subscribe, share. Guys, don't just consume, but please subscribe. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All the best. Take care. Have a blessed week. Thank you. Bye.